everybody, welcome back to our town of Fingtowner. Playing Banish, let me just slow the time down to normal time. That did not change the speed of the rain at all, it's actually kind of interesting. Anyway, let me unpause the game. So, as I said at the end of the last episode, I spent some time resource gathering, cleared a lot out of this area. Cut down some trees, got some rocks, and some iron. I also built this storage barn right here because I noticed the supply card is not getting filled with food. I'm like, why is it not doing that? Is it not the same thing as this? Well, then I realized this is a storage cart, which came with the starting conditions of the game. I didn't build that. I don't have the option to build a storage cart. The mod that I got that I thought would make me be able to build these is actually just the supply cart which is used to store tools, clothing, and textiles not food so this was pointless this was getting full to capacity and the gatherers hut was just bringing their food over and just dropping it right out here in front so I dropped 48 logs and 16 stone into a storage barn now it's getting filled up with food and Tristel a girl came of age, and we have a boy over here, Maine, about to become of age. And the two parents, the two sets of parents have agreed that their children should get married, so let's build a house for them. I also put these farms there, because eventually we're going to need some farms, and I wanted to make sure I left space for them. Uh, I have a lot of laborers going off over here to clear resources, so maybe I should build a house on this side of the river? keep it still fairly close to the center of the town. Or actually, I'll put it over here on this side by the gatherer's hut, maybe. I think that'll work too. Alright, point that house down. Prioritize it, because I want the laborers to come here first. I think there might still be things over here that they're gathering. I want to build up some stone and some logs. I would like to get a trading post down sometime soon, hopefully sometime in this episode. I should probably speed the time back up too. Because I would like to start trading for things. Probably not food just yet. We're doing okay on food, it's steadily rising. Well that's also going to mean we're going to need something to trade with. It might be time to have a dedicated woodcutter. Actually, let's not dedicate one right now, but let's at least get back to our capacity of 150. I'm going to need to hold on to some logs to build this trading depot with. Assign one person as a builder. So that, that house will get built, hopefully. Let's see, how many resources do we need for a trading depot? It's this right here. 82 logs. 80 stone which we have and 40 iron which we have okay and I think I already figured that it could fit right here yep let's see I'm gonna go ahead and put the blueprint down for it but just pause it so nobody comes and works on it is main a gatherer or not a gatherer but a laborer yes main is now a laborer let's go ahead and get this house built for them And I don't think Yondan and Lynetta, our original Adam and Eve, are going to have any more kids, unfortunately. They did have Trinidas after Tristel, but that was probably it. I'm not sure if Trinidas was born at the time that I ended the last episode. Ooh, you're done? We got a new child, Nanika, and it's a girl. Perfect, because Trinidas is a boy. See how that works out? Woohoo! There's the house, they moved in. Awesome. And we have four laborers. So... Do I want to send somebody somewhere to be working somewhere? I can start building up some clay. You know, I built this because I know I'm going to want it, but I'm really not using it yet. Because, I mean, what's the point of taking clay to make bricks if I'm not going to use those bricks on anything yet? Because how expensive is it to upgrade this? 
A lot of stone and iron plus bricks. I'm not willing to do that yet. You know what I could do is I could start making glass and sell the glass. What does it take to build a glassworks? Is that here, charcoal burner, glassworks. 40 logs, 40 stone, and 40 sand. So maybe that's going to be the next thing we try to do. But in the meantime, I'm going to stake one person in the gatherer's hut. God, why is the game so sluggish sometimes? I mean, I get a constant 20-something frames per second, 90% of the time. And then it has to drop down to 15 every so often. Alright. Did we collect all of that stone that I told you to? You did. Uh, now we're going to need some more trees, though. We need to cut down some logs. While we cut down all of these trees, right, you do. Actually, I'll save the saplings. Come on, game, stop auto-saving. Don't cut down that guy. Don't cut down that guy. Alright, that guy's free. Don't cut down that guy yet. This one's still kind of small. Is that a tree? No, it's not a tree. That's a tree, but he's not going to be cut down. Don't cut down that guy. Awesome. So I'll let them grow to their full height before I decide to chop them up. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Now what? Gonna need 82 logs for that. I wish those logs will cost 32. I might do that first. With a forester's lodge, I can assign people to be working year-round to cut down trees and to plant new ones. Why don't we go ahead and start building on that? Let's see. Let's keep it off of the water. We want to get as much radius out of this as well. In fact, let's put it down right on that stone so that the laborers will have to collect that stone in order to build there. Let's get some more stockpile on this side of the river. In fact, let's go one more. Look at all that stone though, we got a nice amount of stone. Drop down to 19 tools. Uh, that's fine, let's let it get down to 10 before I start making some more. We got a new child, Hillison. All right. Now hopefully we can get a girl out of these guys. If we can't get a girl out of these guys, that might actually be the end of my town, because these guys aren't having any more kids. Unless I can somehow make it so I can get nomads. Alright, they're bringing over the logs and the stone now. Alright. I want to do another search. Let me just see. Is there any iron in this area? Ooh, there is iron right there. Grab that. But then there's that better iron over there, but that's still a long walk. Ooh, that's built. Let's get that built fast. I'll assign two builders. You know, there's a lot of professions here that I'm not going to be able to get to with such a small town until we get a lot more people. But I'm just going to scroll down this list so you can see all the things that are available. You can have a miller, you can have a monk, a physician. Notice our health is really low. There are diseases you can catch, especially from nomads. You're almost guaranteed to get a disease from a nomad. Shoreman, sailor, teacher, tailor, trader, vendor, a vintner. What is that for wine? Hmm. 
Alright, is that built yet? Come on guys, build it. And I think I saw yes, Trinidas has become a laborer. Nanaka is still only three years old. But anyway, let's go back up. I think I'm going to go ahead and unpause this so they start working on that trading depot now. Alright, forest is built. I'm going to assign one person to work there. And I'm going to assign two people to work there. And I'm going to pull one off the gatherer's hut. I think we're doing okay on food. But if this number starts going down, like if it drops below 2500, we're probably in trouble. But I think I can afford to do that. Whoops. Keep that up top. So I got two people cutting and planting trees and they will cut and plant within this vicinity alright they got it cleared out they're bringing over the logs Ooh, I'm actually going to need an emergency supply of logs to make some more firewood with let me chop down those guys and let me do the same thing let me save the saplings and the really small trees it's kind of hard to see in here if there are any saplings, I think. No, no sapling there. Alright, the rest of you are screwed though, you're coming down. And these, these things here, I don't think they actually represent anything. They're not food you can collect. They're just decoration, but they're ugly. So I'm gonna have, them have the laborers get rid of that stuff. gonna use up a lot of things though but I think we have the capacity for it we're not using that much stone but that reminds me how about I get somebody making some tools for the time being all right we dropped from 2800 to 2700 but that might just be because people are eating but think about it, we do have more mounts to feed now. We got Hillison. Ooh, and yeah, that's a girl, that's good. That's very good. Very good. Cecilene. Trinidad's is 11. Whereas Manica is 4. Yeah, I think Yondon's probably gonna die in the next 20 years. I don't know, I think I've seen them get up to 90 years old. But that's actually pretty rare. Lifespan's in the 70 to 80 year range. And again, we're only in year 8 when you think about 4 seasons to a year. But Yannon and Lynetta started out like 20 years old. Or something. Something like that. Just out of curiosity, let me go check how many logs have you cut down since we started. 33. Okay. Ooh, this is built. Good. Let's go ahead and actually build, build it. I only have one laborer, or one builder, because I want to keep at least one laborer. Meanwhile, let's try to get some of this, some more stone. Definitely some more iron. Get a small bit of iron here. I think I'm gonna go up to 40 tools now, and then stop. Provided I have the iron for it. Yeah, telling me that the iron is low, I know, I know. Might not have nearly the iron for it. Let me prioritize the iron gathering. I want them to do this first. Food went back up, so I think we're going to do okay on food at the moment. Last season, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 9, 1200 food per season. 
And if I had a town hall built, I could actually find out how much we use in a season. Just town halls are so expensive to make. But yeah, I'll show off that functionality once we do get the town hall built. Almost out of iron, we're back up to 30 tools, so alright, that's enough. We'll do okay with 35 tools in reserve, it's not like we go through tools really fast. Alright, the trading post is built. Now let me have someone working at the woodcutter, because I only noticed we just went into winter with 26 fuel. That is a bad number. Also, since fuel is a good thing to trade with, I'm going to set the limit to 250. But I'm going to need the wood to keep up with that. Let's chop down these trees that are right by home. Also chop down a few of these, few of these, few of these. Save the sapling. Cut down that fat one. Have I? No, I haven't sent someone to work here yet. So let's look at the menu here in the trading post. This is inventory. This will show you a list of all the items that we could possibly store here. And the amount that we have stored in the trading post. I could set say 10 iron tools to go here and if we had a worker here they would go pick out 10 tools and bring them here and this number would say 10. We jump over to the trade menu. This is what we have in the trade depot. We would have 10 tools and each tool has a value of 8. And when a trader comes by he will stop right here and we'll see on this side what the trader has to sell and how much it'll cost. You know, if we were buying iron tools, they would cost eight, for an example. Most generic food has a cost of one. I think firewood has a cost of four. Logs, two. Stone and iron, probably two. Or coal and charcoal, I think might be a little bit more than firewood. Well, then glass and glassware have a pretty high value. We got 84 locks that season. I think we can do better this time. Speaking of which, Nanaka is almost old enough. So we should get ready to make a new house soon. But we got a new child. Good birdie, another boy. So we got Hillison. Hillison and Nanaka. Huberti and Cecily, that'll work. That will work. Have we picked up all this iron yet? I think we did. Yep, but we only got 13. Let's collect all of it. I want all of it. Ooh, food's actually kind of dropping fairly low. You know what? I'm going to pull one person off of here. Oops, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to pull one person off. I want you to only plant for the time being. Fill in all these trees. And I'll manually have the laborers work. What's this guy going? We're up to 179 under 250. Let me set it back to 200. But let me have one person temporarily work here and let's bring over. It's the firewood. Let's bring over 75 firewood in addition to the 10 tools. Ooh, we got another child. Havania. Uh, another girl. Nanak is 9. Hilson is 8. Oh, I forgot about Trinidad. 
So we got what? So it's gonna be what? Chunadash and Nanaka. Where is Nanaka? Nanaka's the oldest girl. Alright, so Nanaka and Trinidas. Then we've got Hilson and Cecilene. Avani and Rupetti. Okay, okay. Okie dokie. Come on, where's my, where's my market guy? There he is. Bring your stuff over. Ah, uh, he brought the ten iron tools over. Very good. Nanaka has become a labor. Ooh, we actually kind of need the house right now. This one I will put on this side. And no laborers are out collecting stuff, but let's get this house built ASAP. Oh, that's right, the logs. Stop making firewood. We don't have enough logs to build this house. Emergency. Emergency log cutting. Oh, but we did have enough for the house. Okay. Build it. Go. Have you brought all the firewood over yet? Yes, you brought all the firewood over. Right. 75, 75. Good. Stop working there. I don't need you there anymore. You don't need to act. You don't need to actually have somebody working here in order to trade with somebody that comes by. You just need to have things present here for the trade to happen. Alright, we don't need the builder anymore. We got five laborers. I'm gonna put one back in the gathering hut. You know what? No. I'm not gonna put one back in the gathering hut. I'm gonna build a new Building. I'm gonna build a hunting cabin. Hunting cabins are gonna hunt all the deer. And we'll get venison from the deer. But we will also get leather from the deer. Whoa, sluggish game again. That leather we can use to make hide coats. That'll keep our little villagers warmer longer so that during the winter they can do more stuff before they have to go get warm, but then we can also sell the excess. Alright, keep working at this again though. Ooh, Hillison has become an adult. We're just waiting on Cecilene. A fun little fact I want to point out. Uh, each person's profession will vary a lot as the game goes on, and it's dependent on long, dependent on a lot of things, including the distance to the person's home to their profession. So notice the person we have working here, Trinidas. He works at the Forester's Lodge. He lives here, and our two gatherers live one here and one here, right by the gatherings hut. I just call it the Gathering's Hut. It's the Gatherer's Hut. That's what I meant to say. Nobody's working over here yet. Oh, you know what? They're mining all that iron. Good for them. Oh, our food's stopping fairly low. So I will put someone here, actually, for the time being. 2400, that'll probably, if we stopped making food altogether, that would probably last us for about a year, maybe? Possibly a little bit more than a year. Then we would all starve to death, and that'd be bad. Yes, I know the reserve of logs is low. Uh, let's just make this empty space right here. Cut down all those trees. Even the saplings. Alright, all the iron's done. That's good. Oh, notice the symbol. He is out of resources because we are out of wood. 
but hopefully we can fix that momentarily. And if we can just get a dang merchant, we might get lucky and have a merchant that sells wood. Let me make sure this river does connect to the edge of the map, right? It should. Oh, there's a faster way to tell. Bring up the mini-map. Whoa, where am I? There I am, okay. So this is the river. Yeah, it comes from here. From the edge of the map. This is where the trader's gonna come from. Oh no, I just followed it backwards. Oops. The edge of the map is here. So yeah. The trader won't come up these tiny rivers. They only come through these big rivers. Oh, you know what? This hunting cabin is taking up all the logs. Ah, but hey, we gotta build. Ooh, merchant. What are you selling? Candles. That's useless to me. I don't need... I won't need candles for a very, very, very long time. Dismiss. Go away. Ooh, you know what? I should have... I'll wait for the next merchant, then I'll show you some of the things you can do with the merchant. If you're curious, candles you need for when you have mines or quarries. Quarries. What a weird word. Quarries. Quarries to dig stone, mines to dig iron. You have your generic mine or your generic quarry, right? Let's say the mine, for example. Go right up here in the mountains. Oh, then it'll have a certain, a certain capacity, and then you won't be able to get any more iron out of that. But you could upgrade that to a deep mine, and it'll go even deeper. But, you know, the deeper, go deeper you go, the less light you have from the sun, so you'll need to bring candles down with you. That's why candles are important. So it requires candles to upgrade from a mine to a deep mine. And I think there's even one more upgrade after that. One of the major problems with, you know, the vanilla version of the game... Let me assign a builder for this. Was that once you... So the, the, the base mines and quarries don't have that much of a quantity, capacity. I mean, it'll, it'll last you for a good long while. You can get a lot, lot of stuff out of it. But eventually it's going to run out. So with Colonial Charter, you can upgrade them. Yeah, right, we got all that iron left, so let's have someone work here. Uh, it's spring. We don't need all this firewood, so I can afford to bring let's bring 150 over. Oh, then I'll have this guy make some more. Except we don't have any logs for it. I really should have put the foresters hut over here, so that we could plant this area and cut it down again. Speaking of which, I don't think he's going to be able to plant anymore. You know what, just don't bother working there anymore. Join the labor force. Let me manually cut down some trees. Right here. How's the hunting cabin coming? built. Good. Alright, I got three. I want to bring it down to... whoops. No. You can have a maximum of four people here. You can... You can drop it down so you have a maximum of one people here, but we don't want to do that. I want to have two people working here and two people working here. Cecilina has become an adult. Ooh. Come on, laborers, get that bill right now. Let's 
gonna use up 16 of the logs we just cut, but you know what? Oh, you know what? I don't have anybody working here, that's why he's not bringing any fire or whatever. Kali. And 150. Alright, you can start working over there now. You will bring the capacity back up to 200. This house is built. Lovely. Don't need that builder anymore. You're out hunting. Haven't killed anything yet. How much was it to put the glassworks again? 40 and 40? You know what I need? I need more stone. I only got the 19. Go get all that stone. As well as some trees. Yeah, 180, 180 is fine, don't worry about that. New child, a low end. are done. You know what, maybe I will have dedicated foresters now. What about you guys? I need you guys to start catching things. There we go, 160 and 4. I think that's two deer. Eight even is in each, I think. But you know, pound for pound, I think one gatherer makes more in a year than one hunter. The thing about the hunters is though, we get some leather. Which I'm gonna need to make clothes. And you need a tailor for that. 32, 48, and 16. I'll go ahead and put that out and have them start. Also, let's try to get back up to capacity at the same time. Oh, Yonden! Our beloved Adam, Yonden, has died. Age 64, I believe, because he was a year older than Lanetta. Rest in peace, Yonden. We shall remember ya. One of the original founders of Fingtowner. He actually died pretty young. Didn't get a lot older than that. I wonder if it's a thing in this game where the women actually do live longer on average than men. Because that is a general trend, is that not? Am I imagining that? Yes, the reserve of logs is low. Because 32 just went there, and this guy is using a bunch more too. Oh, that's ugly. Get rid of all that stuff. And chop down those trees. Have you, have you killed some more? Yes, you've killed some more. What are we waiting on? Labor is to bring over stone and iron. I wonder what's taking them so long. You know, this might be just a waste of resources. Some more stone. Huberti and Havania. 
about to become of age. Might be able to kick Lynetta out. I wonder if I can kick Lynetta out of the house and have him have the two move in here. And there's a little trick I'm, I can do with that. We'll see. But then Lynetta will be homeless. Yeah, she'll be fine though. She's sturdy. I just don't want to put the resources into another house. I can pull some firewood out if I really need to. Pull it out of the trading post. Gianna Murray. Karen. Lowen. And Kali and Wiata. Man, these guys are having lots of kids. Good for the merchant. What do you got? Wheat. Okay, okay. Alright then. I'll sell all ten of my iron tools. And I will sell... 50 of my firewood. 280. I can buy 280 wheat. Oh, but you only have 250. Okay. So I need 170 units to complete this trade. God, math, never good at it. 25. 55. Oh, we're paying by 50 units. 50. 45. 43. 9. Need an additional 6. Give me a multiple of 10. God damn it. I don't want to waste anything, but you know what? I'll pay you extra. I'll give you two units more than this is worth. Trade. Now, because firewood's in kind of a tricky situation right now, I'm going to immediately drop this down to 107 so that you don't pick up any more firewood until I have a better wood supply. Oh god, game. Thank you. And you know, I think with that trade, this is where I'm going to end episode 2. A child named Renata was born. Seems like a good omen that a child was born, right, as I'm saying goodbye. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you have any questions about this game, if I'm not explaining something really well, just let me know in the comments, and I will try to do better in the next episode. I am more than willing to talk for hours on the functionality of everything in this game. Anyway... I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye.